Yes, people, welcome back to Inside Boxing Brain. It's Harry and I am back for another quick video. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and drop a comment below if you have any thoughts that you would like to share with me. Um, today's video is about Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora. So we haven't had an official contract signature or an official announcement from either camp but what we have had is a lot of speculation and noise from the rumour mill. So what does this mean? Is it likely? Is it unlikely? And what are the potential outcomes of the fight? Now personally speaking I am not interested in seeing this fight. I do see why they are scheduling it and why they're potentially trying to get a trilogy fight with Derek. Uh, Derek has looked good over the last few years. He's always in competitive fights, even though he has had back-to-back -back defeats. He had a, a victory in his last fight against Pulev, but still, he is coming off multiple defeats. And he has already lost to Tyson on two different occasions. So, why do they want to make this fight? So, having thought about it, the initial perception that I had was there's no other heavyweights in the division that want to fight Tyson um, who are at that elite or world tier class. I know that Derek Chisora is fringe level world class, but you know he's still a very fan-friendly and fan-favourite fighter. So in terms of selling out an arena or selling tickets and pay-per-views, I really feel that Derek Chisora would be able to sell more than that Mahmoud Cha that was also in the run-up to the fight. So I think that's why they are making this trilogy. We haven't had any official announcements and there's so many YouTubers making videos around how disappointed they are in Tyson Fury for even potentially floating the idea of a trilogy match with Derek Warch's aura. So I'm going to do a very brief prediction video for this because I feel like 99% of the boxing population have already made their mind up and they know what the outcome is going to be. Um, if we only look at the last two fights, Tyson has not struggled with Derek Chisora's pressure or power punching. And I think it's going to be very much similar case in this fight if it gets made because Tyson Fury has steadily improved over the last three to five years and if anything I would say that Derek Chisora has stayed consistent if not he has gone downhill a little bit um, I think the problem is with Derek is because he's a very fan friendly fighter um, the fans get behind him and he's always in exciting fights so it's very difficult for him and promoters to say right it's time for you to walk away from the game and um, Within the heavyweight division, everybody has a chance. Anybody can land a knockout punch. But the likelihood that Derek Chisora is going to be able to land a punch that is significant on Tyson, given he's already had two fights to try and do that, is slim to none. Um, so official prediction is a stoppage victory for Tyson Fury within five rounds um it could be competitive for the first round or two i think derek may try and bring a whole different tactic to the fight this time um and really try and rush tyson from round one to try and put that pressure and power punch on him as much as possible but it's unlikely that he's going to be able to get through uh, the task at hand tyson has too many tools in the toolbox and he's got too much firepower in his arsenal. Um, I think it's going to be a walkover and it does set us up very nicely for the Alexander Usyk fight next year. Many boxing fans like myself feel that Derek Chisora actually gave a better account for himself against Usyk than someone like Anthony Joshua did. Um, I actually had uh, Derek Chisora drawing the fight with Usyk and if he'd have won that fight, I would not have been upset or, or um, disagreed with the result. So Derek still has some gas left in the tank, but 
against somebody like Tyson, who is at the top of the division, I really feel that it's going to be extremely difficult for him to really go through the gears. Um, Tyson Fury's got too much movement. Uh, he's too big, he's too powerful, and he's too tricky for a come-forward fighter, conventional fighter like Derek Chisora. So, official prediction, a stoppage for Tyson Fury within three to five rounds. And um, it will be competitive for maybe a round or two where uh, Derek's going to come out like a dog on heat and just try and really stick it on him as much as possible. Um, really brief prediction video, guys. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my videos and thank you to everybody who has taken the time to subscribe, uh, to like the videos and to leave their comments and feedback on the comment section below. Um, I have responded to every single person who's taken the time to message me. It's the only you know fair thing to do. Um, and everybody's questions that they're putting towards me, I'm going to try um, and make videos based off those questions. So if there's any interesting topics uh, that you want to put in the comment section for me to have a look at, or if there's any videos that you think that I should watch, just comment them below and I will definitely click on all of the links that you provide for me. Um, just before I go, Guys, if you're interested in increasing your stamina, increasing your strength and speed, agility, whether you're doing that in the boxing ring or just for general fitness, click the link in the description below. It's going to take you through to Amazon where I've actually built a list of the supplements that I take which keep me looking absolutely fly. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. Um, it's Inside Boxing Brain. We're around about 24 hours, if not a little bit less, away from the boxing card, um, the Sky Sports All Women boxing card for the first time in history. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm going to be buying the pay-per-view tomorrow night um, and I will be doing a video uh, off the back of it as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll be back really soon for another video. Inside Boxing Brain. Boom, boom, boom.